become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Sometimes, because of some process requirement, there could be an urgency to shift the nozzle from this shell to dish end. So, if you would like to move this nozzle from shell to dish end, then what is the procedure that we are going to follow? So, what we need to do is we have to get into this list dialog box. Are we going to create any new nozzle? No. We are going to shift an existing nozzle from its location which is there on the shell to the dish end. So how this needs to be done. First we need to identify the nozzle. What is that nozzle? Nozzle N2. So where it has been located? Nozzle N2 is located at the top which is given from node distance 20. As we all know that whenever PV lit creates any element it associated with the node numbers. So from N2. Here you can see the element description is LHS dish and it is starting from 10 node number and ending at 20. And the shell will be starting from 20 and ending at let's say 30. So this nozzle was away from the starting node point which was 20. But now we would like to have that on this end. So we must change this node number from 20 to 10. That is the first important step that anyone have to do. If you don't change this node number, then it is not possible to have that nozzle shifted from shell to distance. First from node. Let's say the distance is zero because it would be exactly at the center. Then we have to scroll towards the right hand side. And then you can see that after this blind attach, if I keep on moving on the right hand side, then just above this platform, if I just hold this scroll, then we'll come to know that there is one option nozzle in head. So we have to click this option unless and until we click this option, the software will not understand that this nozzle is there on the dished end. So we have to click upon this option, which is nozzle in head. So once we have done that, then click OK. So you can see that the nozzle has been successfully moved from shell to dished end. So by using such simple steps, we can easily be able to move the nozzle from any shell course to dished end. Even we can shift this nozzle from left hand side dish to right hand side dish. What is important? We must be knowing the node number. So what is the node number of this dish end? I am just expanding this. We will come to know. What is the node number from node distance? 100 and to node distance 120. So let's say we would like to move the nozzle from the left hand side dish to right hand side dish. This is mounted on left hand side dish having start node point 10. And if you would like to shift this to right hand side, the start node point is what? 100. So what we need to do? We have to get into list dialog box. After that, we know that from node distance, we would like to change to 100. And then we have to again see whether the nozzle to head option is checked or not. You just have to check and uncheck that once. And you can see that the nozzle has been successfully shifted from the left hand side dish to right hand side dish. So with the help of the list dialog box, even you can copy the nozzle. Let's say from this to a new location. And here I would like to have 10 starting point nozzle. And again, I have to choose it. The nozzle is on the head. Again, I have to click and unclick so that you can see that the nozzle also have been transferred or rather copied over here. So with the help of these options, you can simply be able to 
copy the nozzle. So we can give the name as nozzle N5. Okay, so one is having N4, another is having N5. So with the help of this, you can very easily be able to transfer the nozzle from shell to dish, from dish to dish, copy the nozzles with the help of this wonderful list dialog box. But be careful while entering the node numbers and also entering the checkbox or clicking on the checkbox, whether it is on the head or not. We are talking about the nozzles.